welcome back if you're joining me for another video if you're joining me for the first time hello here are some of my finds over the last few months some of my favorite ones some of them you might have seen on instagram some of them you might not we're going to start off over here on the spice girls i picked up the spice girls five dollars they're in a box you can see so we have sporty scary baby and posh which means we're missing jerry out of the lot but i picked them up as they look really good condition and more so than that they seem to have their clothes on and they're actually pretty clean so let's open them up i'm gonna start with scary scary looks like a army nerd <laughs> she's got her glasses on which is cool accessories are always something to look for you know earrings necklaces and shoes Oh, she's got a snake band over here. Kind of cool. I don't know if they're in their original outfits. Eh, maybe so. I, I honestly don't know or if someone's dressed them differently. But um, I'll have a look. I'll have a look at that up. But I'm actually really impressed with the quality of them. They look nice and clean and like they've been stored. Let's bring her up and have a look. As I said, Jerry looks like an army nerd. <laughs> with those glasses on and a big smile. And she's got this puffy hair in different tones of brown, blonde, and a little spice of red there. There's her armband, this is her clothes. I mean, as I said, oh, she's got a ring on. It's really good that she's come with her accessories and some, what looks like camo boots. Let's have a look, make sure her feet haven't got, no, nah, her feet haven't got pins on. These honestly look like someone's brought them, kept them in a box in their garage and been happy with them. So that is Scary Spice. Then we have Sporty Spice. Oh, there's another top in there. Well, I don't know if this is Jerry's or Spor uh, Scary's or Sporty's. I really don't know. There's a gold top in there, but I'll put that box aside to be recycled because I don't like my bo dolls and boxes. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Sporty looks like a dentist. <laughs> I have her as uh, working at the dentist in Barbie Town. Um, and she'd fit right in. Looks like she's got a lab coat on. Long. I'm not sure about the boots for a dentist, but look at this smile. I'll bring her up. That is a sort of smile, you know, someone gives you just before they drill a hole in your tooth. <laughs> her hair is a lot of product and still, so it's kept its shape and it's nice and tidy around her face. The only thing I can note of interest is a tiny black dot there, which will probably come off with a little wipe of acetone, so not a thing to worry about. She has a ring on this side. As I said, she's got her lab coat on, a little blue tee underneath, then long pants down to these boots so again a really nice looking doll okay I, when i say nice looking i am kind of like i'm with the olsen twins i think they're kind of strange looking but i like that they've got personality in their features so this is the little gold top that was just sitting in the box i have no idea who it goes with i'll have to have a look at look it up and um yeah it's something i can just put in the doll clothes bin so the next box I got is the Spice It Up box with, <laughs> it's not meant to be for Sporty Spice, but we've got in here Posh and Baby. They're both in gold, so I wonder if that gold top belongs to them. No, they are for the clothes. Let's bring it out. <laughs> Nothing else in there. Good, good, good. I'm going to start off with Baby, who's probably... I always thought she didn't look like a baby. <laughs> I always thought, I thought, no, she looks too old to be featured as baby when i think of like you know little lolita girls and stuff they always look like they're young but baby to me was just an old girl with ponytails to be quite honest so she's got a bangle on uh oh no that's a wristwatch on she's got a necklace saying baby she has the signature ponytails again the products kept really well so even though she's been in storage all this time it's fine she's got a gold top and gold pants down too some gold shoes. Let's bring her up. Here she is. And like I said, to me it looks like a grown woman with pigtails. <laughs> Not really a baby. <laughs> there are some girls who have very young features, but I never thought baby was one of them. I actually don't mind this one as a doll. She's got a quite a quite a big nose. There we go, down to the ring on the finger and down to here. Again, they're good character dolls and Hey, I like the Spice Girls back in the day, so they're kind of 
kind of nostalgic. Okay, Posh. Now, Posh being Victoria, Mary David Beckham. Um, I always thought that Posh was the girl they threw in the girl band because they needed someone of a certain look. And if you notice in like some of the songs, she doesn't actually sing that much. <laughs> Um, I always thought her singing talents were were lacking in some way, but she was picked basically for her her face. Let's bring her up. Here she is. I do think she is the most attractive of the four dolls. I really love this little cut. Again, the product has kept it really well. She has her necklace on. So fantastic. These have their accessories. I'm so happy bracelet and a ring. She's got this gold top on to these matching pants and then high heel gold shoes. Did they have, yeah, she's got a snappy legs. Yeah, this is a really nice doll. This is definitely my favorite of the lot. Probably the least singer, uh, the least pop star-ish of the Spice Girls, but the nicest doll. <laughs> So in the box we have a green dress. Now this to me screams more Jerry than any of the other girls. I could be wrong so I'm going to put that aside. We have a long gold dress with a side split. So this kind of seems like something posh would wear. And then we have these shoes. So we've got two white shoes. Actually we've got three white shoes. A white band of some sort. My and a gold shoe so it looks like there's a couple of extras in there maybe there was jerry in the set at one point but she just got lost or maybe she got a bit broken so that is the spice girls i got now i picked those up from a flea market the next one i want to show is in this box here the box actually came with them which i thought oh that's kind of cool i got to score a free container <laughs> and it is a monster high lot i'm going to push the dolls back and we'll have a look at this one all right so I've said in a few videos and Instagram posts, Face I love Facebook Marketplace, you can pick up some really good deals. You have to be fast now. It's kind of caught on that there are a lot of toys there that if you just pick them up fast enough, um, you can get them for relatively cheap. There are a lot of expensive ones now as well, so people kind of, you know, moving into there, the secondhand dealers. Um, you know, if you see someone constantly buying and reselling toys, make sure that they're noted as a dealer in your mind. <laughs> um, this here lot was NZ $40. And my, oh my, this was a really good lot. So some of these are double ups for us. Some of them are new. Um, you can check out photos of Astra's Monster High collection on Instagram. Of course, this is Headmistress Blood Goods Horse uh, Nightmare. We already have this horse, so this is a double up for us. Try and get it in the center there. I always pull things off to the side when I'm not looking at the camera. Really good condition. Um, looks like she's hardly played with. I mean, her, her tail still has her twirls in. She's gorgeous. I might be giving this one away because, as I said, we have it. All right. Then we have, now this we definitely don't have, and I'm so excited to see this in the lot. Um, this is, Meowdy and Persephone's scooter. This came in a lot to new, uh, in a big box together with um, a couple of um, Meowdy and Persephone dolls which are in there. I really, really was upset when I missed out on purchasing this for Astra because she really wanted this set when she was little. Um, but yeah, now I've got it in this lot for $40 so I saved myself a bunch. Again, it's fantastic condition. There is hardly any play wear in there, and it looks like just with a baby wipe clean, it'll be fantastic. So that's that bike. Okay. Oh, we got a Draculaura. One of the dolls we have the most is Draculaura because she is Astra's favorite. She's missing her earrings. She does, however, have her belt and her necklace and some cool shoes. Let's bring her up and have a look. Now if I identify the dolls, I'll put them down at the bottom. If you don't see their name pop up when I bring them up, um, just know that either I could have identified it past the video, or um, just let me know, because I always, always appreciate the help. 
there are big days when I go through big sorting phases and I put the dolls into their relatively either in these, this case because it's monster high they go on display completed so like a doll like this that's missing her earrings I will get the earrings for her I will restyle her hair to be the ac as accurate to the original style as possible um, and then she will get a monster high display stand and she'll go in Astra's room that's that one Oh, of course, we need Mistress Bloodgood. Here we are, uh, with her head attached. Now, the whole idea with this doll is you can remove her head and she can carry it around, just like in the in the show. We do have this doll. I, however, Nightmare I'm not too keen to hold on to because um, Nightmare I consider in the accessory range, whereas this one's outfit. This is where it really gets hard. When they discontinue making a doll, I actually feel bad customizing a doll, but I'm almost tempted to keep her for her skin tone and outfit, etc. I want to make a pattern off this outfit, which means that put paper on the inside to remake it in a different color. I'll think about that. Let's bring her up and have a look. Here she is. Her hair has <laughs> is pretty stiff from product, but you can see it's got a bit scruffy, so we can clean that up, but again, I don't think these dolls got played with much. I got them for, as I said, for $40 New Zealand for the lot off a lady from her daughter was just getting rid of her collection. And um, I don't think her daughter played with them, to be quite honest. This one is Laguna. Now Laguna almost always has, yeah, when you buy Laguna's second hand, as I say, always look for accessories such as necklaces and bracelets, etc. And if they've got the earrings in, she doesn't have earrings for this one. But another one with Laguna is the fins, not the bottom fins. The top fins are usually part of the doll. The bottom fins need to be inserted in. There we go. But she's pretty cute. Um, I think I actually looked her up when I got her and she's just missing those fins. So with a hair, quick hair style and wave, I think she'll be pretty good. Let's bring her up. Here she is with her bag and her little togs on and a little overskirt making it super cute and then her heel less high heels <laughs> she's cute and while we're on Laguna I'm gonna bring up oh yes this was one of the ones I saw in the lot we didn't actually get her um, so these came out with a uh, great scarier reef and we have a few of these dolls um, I concentrated on ones like Posey and, you know, um, Kalia, Ka Kalia, the one starting with K, who's kind of the, the bad girl in the film. Um, so I missed out on some of the core characters. So to see one which is complete like this, absolutely fantastic. Again, her hair's hardly played with. She's got her accessories. And these ones stand on their own. They were designed to stand on their own. Astra doesn't have her, which is the most important part. This one, basically, I'll give it a wipe down and I'll take it straight up to Astra's room. Hashtag bring it back Monster High. Alright, no. Hashtag bring back older style Monster High, where it wasn't all this... I don't even like the younger style cartoon, to be quite honest, the way they changed it and redid the story. It just kind of went from appealing to... from seven... To 15 year olds to appealing to 10 year olds full stop <laughs> yeah oh a kitty nor yep and another one that Esther doesn't have and I was like yes yes there were so many dolls she didn't have in this lot so kitty nor is one of again one of Esther's favorite characters I think she's complete I think she's complete yeah I'm pretty sure this one is complete let's bring her up I'm pretty sure she's from Boo York just a bit of a hairbrush there and reset. She has her headband on, her plastic piece here. She has her meow bag and her tail. That is what to look for when you're buying Monster High kitties. Look for the tail and the claws because the hands might work for the other ones, but the cats have claws. Like White Stink Song, Kitten's Got Claws and her shoes. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'll bring them up together. So these are the girls that came with the scooter set. Um, they've got their headpieces, they have their goggles, googles, 
goggles. <laughs> One, unfortunately, I think the other bag is missing when I was going through it. But the boots, I'm not too worried about the bag. I might look if I can see something on on another lot to to put it. But I'm actually not too worried about the bag. Um, they have their tails, which is really important. Here we are. And the girls look in fantastic condition. Got their boots on. Just gorgeous. I'm going to bring them up one by one. Here she is. With her big boots on. She's in black and yellow. And her sister here with her ears up on the... I love the... The thing with Monster High was the attention to detail. Now, the dolls were expensive. Um, they could range from anything from $50 to $60. <sighs> Which I know people will get all affronted and upset over that they say they're not affordable if they're $50 to $60. But two for children. But to me... Monster High appealed, as much as it did to kids, which could have a dolly every so often anyway, to a collector's a lot more. It was actually something exciting to collect. Oh, we've got a Howleen who's missing her boots. Here we are. Her hair's pretty good. She's still got her product on it. It's getting sticky though. I might fix that. There's a purple bag down there. I don't know if that purple bag's hers. I'll, oh no, I think that's Jane Boodle's actually looking at the colouring. So, oh, she's missing her boots. I may have that in storage. Gorgeous. Here she is. Looking absolutely gorgeous. She's got her wrist piece on here. Her belt. Shame she's missing her boots, but I might be able to remedy that. Okay, who have we got? We have one of my favourite characters. Cleo Denal and um, Abby Abonable. Uh, my favorite characters. I love, love, love Abby's character. Abby to me is, they never got to it, though they alluded to it in the show. Her and Heath Burns are a pair, which I think is gorgeous considering she comes from the extreme colds and he is a fire elemental. You know, and that's going on that opposites attract sort of thing. Let's bring her up and have a look. Mummy did start to ramble there for a bit. Just a beautiful doll. I love the shimmer in her skin tone. And I love, I love, love, love Abby a lot because of her character, thought, process, and who she is. But a lot, you can say that for a lot of Monster High dolls. She's gorgeous. Plus her colouring is blue, white, and purple. And pink. She's got gorgeous colours. Okay, so the last doll in there is a doll I actually have a lot of. Why are you so popular? <laughs> um, this particular one, Picture Day Frankie. I think we have, we, either, we definitely have two. We may already have three of her. So Picture Day Frankie is a gorgeous looking doll. She has her bag here. She has her jacket and her dress and her shoes. Um, she normally comes with a little folder that might be in the accessories in there. Um, like a little blue manila folder. But we, as I said, we already have this doll several times over. So it's no worries. But I can see why it appeals so much. She's very fresh faced in this doll design. But yeah, I got this doll a few times over. Or I should say my Astra does. But we, we, we've got this doll. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tip this this way. Um, it came with four books. Uh, Monster High Diaries, Laguna Blue, and the Big Sea Scarecation. We don't have that one. We definitely have that one. Ghoul Friends. Who's that ghoul friend? We actually have a library at our house. And... Um, one day I'll show you guys the library because it has a lot of manga in it and things. Um, manga. Manga. And some of my favorite books. We don't have this one. Ghoul Friends Just Want to Have Fun. And Ghoul Friends to the End. So I don't think we have... Um, we might have that middle, middle one. But I don't think we have these three books. So that's three books. You can tell by the sleeve. Again, they've been brought but they're not being read. Um, so it looks like we'll have books two, three, and four. So maybe, hopefully, we have book one in our library. Okay, 
this accessory we definitely have this accessory I don't think we have I don't think we have this painting set so there's a paint trolley there and then this really gorgeous gorgeous little painting easel of all the girls together it's just so incredibly cute and the skull chair oh my goodness we do not not, not have this so cool um, I'm getting all excited got some brushes heaps of brushes so some brushes what else have we got in here oh we've got someone's headpiece um, who's wearing silver I'll find out who that belongs to oh they came with this like little skelet this little blue skelet thing that goes into this like art piece that's in an ice cube I'm guessing that's uh, Abby's We've got some poisoned apples with little worms coming out. We have a broken mirror. It's more of a Cleo denial thing, isn't it? I don't think we got a Cleo in this lot. No, we didn't. And what else have we got? We've got some other little ones. Oh, we've got what looks... To, oh my goodness, that fell down into the thing. <laughs> I don't want to lose that, just in case it is somebody's special thing. Okay, I got that. <laughs> That was a bit of a mission. All right, so I got this big container. I'm not going to use this container. You can see dust around it, and I don't want dust around my dolls. <laughs> so going quickly through, we have a paint palette. We have what I'm guessing is Jane Boolittle's bag. Uh, we've got a paintbrush. We've got an ice mallet. I'm guessing, I'm gonna, just going to take a wild guess and guess that maybe Laguna came with the paint set. I don't really know. I could easily be wrong. Uh, we've got it. This is what I fished out. It looks like a little black bangle. I'm going to hold on to that just in case. And we have a gold amulet with a ruby stone in. So that was all for $40 New Zealand. It works out at ten dollars here so ignoring um nightmare ignoring the accessories ignoring the books that's four dollars new zealand a doll and a lot of them are complete and they're fantastic conditions would have happily played that individually if not more all right i've moved these random dolls forward now all of these dolls were either a dollar or two dollars new zealand each um, I'm not going to remember which ones they paid a dollar for and which ones they paid two dollars for. You just have to bear with me um, and just think, eh, it's a dollar to two dollars. Not too much of a difference, to be quite honest. I'm going to dive in and explain why I brought each one. Uh, if they have issues, just know that I paid a dollar because I don't honestly think you should pay two dollars. Two dollars for me is is kind of a nude Barbie, a nude standard Barbie. So this one here, I don't know if she's had a haircut because on each side she has a little sliver of hair, but to me she has, so this would be what I would pay a dollar for. Let's bring her up and have a look. Okay, well I selected this girl's face as she has a lovely Barbie face. Love, love, love this Barbie face. Um, she's actually going in our customized box. She has no accessories or anything. She's just basically a standard doll. Um, Part of the reason she's going in our customized box rather than restoration is I'm unsure of these little things at the side. There's one on each side, but you can see they're different lengths. So I think she's had a half up design at some point and it's been snipped. So she is a custom bait doll. Here we go. This girl here. She has lovely long hair. There's not too much wrong with her. Let's bring her up. Here she is. Again, I chose her just because of her face. Love, love, love her face. Love the open mouth smile. Nothing really wrong with her. She's wearing some homemade black pants, which are actually really nice. At least I assume they're homemade black pants because of the way the Velcro is. Yeah, they're homemade black pants. And I just picked her up because I really like her and I want to redress her. Alrighty. Okay, so um, I've talked about this before in one of my other videos. Um, certain ones of these Barbies, now before fashionistas became fashionistas, these were the fashionistas. Um, and there were ones which were just articulated and then there were these ones which you could swap the heads on. And I think you actually could get individual packs of heads. I remember seeing those. Um, you basically pressed a button on the back of the Barbie. Pulled off her head, much like, you know, in the Wizard of Oz 2 with the, the lady who changes her heads around. <laughs> Go to the cabinet and pick another head. Um, it's a bit freaky, actually. But I really, really loved these fashionistas. To me, this was 
kind of the last play line doll where they put extra effort into the faces. I'll bring her up and have a look. Here she is. So you can see that there was a lot of thought and a lot of Barbie in these faces. And these were basically the play line dolls. I really, really loved them. And as I said, you click a button and you could change them all around. They have a ton of articulation, wrist, elbow, knee movement, all the additional stuff. They were really nice Barbies. Okay, this one here. And um, what is she? I think she's a Mattel, isn't she? 2006 Mattel. She's got her earrings in on either side. Little gold earrings. Um, she has a smudge on her cheek, but it's just a... looks like a... Yeah, I don't think that's anything to worry about. I don't think she's had a haircut. She's got a side fringe, but it looks like it's meant to. I could be wrong. But yeah, I just loved her face, and I don't exactly know who she is. She should stand out. She's got glittery lipstick. Let's bring her up and have a look. Here she is. She has glitter over her lipstick. She has little gold earrings. You can see that black smudge on her face. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm guessing the side part is meant to be like that. She doesn't have any of the points of extra points of articulation, but she has a beautiful, unique face. And I really, really love that she looks like she's part oriental. I really, really like that. Okay, we got... Uh, there was a Barbie I brought for a dollar, not for the Barbie, but for this Texas style jacket. So it is an official Barbie jacket, I'm just going to have to iron it to get all that fraying down. Um, this is the old style Barbie logo here, before they started doing the pink bee. I just love the jacket. <laughs> so I brought the Barbie for a dollar and it's like eh, <laughs> and uh, got the jacket. Okay, so Moxie Girls I have a ton of and they're not very popular and this girl has a rat's nest in her hair. To be quite honest, um, with the amount of, I think she's Avery, um, amount of Moxie Blonde Girls I have, it's not worth me restoring her. Um, I've restored at least five or six Moxie Girls and um, I'm not really that interested in doing any more. They're not a they're not a popular toy brand. However, I love the face shape. So if I'm ever in need of a custom for this particular face shape, I'm gonna lop off all this hair, reroute her hair, and yeah, then she's got her body attached to her. Basically brought her for a custom. Another doll, now she was a kid core or lucky? Lucky Co. So I don't think she is, um, worth anything. She's obviously a vintage doll by her look. Lucky Co doll. Um, more so than anything, I love, love, love her old style look. She's in a wraparound towel. <laughs> Poor thing. Let's bring her up and have a look. So if you have any information on this doll, I am definitely interested in restoring her just because I like the face. And she is, I'll show you the bag actually because that always helps. Got a little rabbit. Oop, there we go. That always helps. Sometimes people get to these things before I do. I just really like the face on this doll. She's very motherly. She deserves to be restored. Okay, diving in again. We've got a Barbie with a pretty face, which is why I brought her in the first place. So this Barbie has a dress on, but I don't think she's meant to have this dress. So we're going to look at this really cute... Well, it's not a dress dress. You have to wear longs under it. Dress first. So it's a really cute little dress. Is it an official Barbie? Yeah, I don't find the tag anywhere, but it's really sweet, whatever it is. I, I actually really like this. So that's a cute little Barbie dress. And the Barbie herself is pretty, which is why I selected her. So it looks like she's one of these swimsuit Barbies. Have, they tend to have fat fleet. Fat, fat feet. Flat feet. She's really pretty colors. Okay, the next one. Oh, this is another one of these Lucky Co dolls. They're both in bath towels. They must have been a set of some sort. This one has a button at the back and it has something to do with it sucks in her hair at the top and uh, I can pull it out again at the top. Again, I like her vintage style facing. It's not a classic vintage, but you can tell it is. Um, I'll bring her up. Let's have a look up close. So she obviously needs some work. A nice scrub. Um, I might slightly micro mesh. There's some shine marks under her eyes there. Just, you know, sand them down very gently. Again, it's got this 
symbol here on the back and this button here seems to pull her hair in and then we can pull her hair out again from the top <laughs> something like that just a really interesting different sort of doll so I like her put her down who have we got next okay so this Barbie uh, has um, she has something with her if she is meant to move these, I think it's if she moves this waist, her arms are meant to move. You can hear a kind of mechanical click in there, which I think has come out. Um, her hair's obviously being trimmed, but I love, love, love her face. Real late 80s, 1990s, <laughs> you know, 80s, 90s Barbies, best Barbies in my opinion. Just love that over the top eyeshadow. And I do love the open smiles. I do love them. That's that one. Okay, another pretty Barbie that has light brunette hair with blue eyes. And so, yeah, I'm a sucker for brunettes with blue eyes and dolls because they seem so incredibly rare. Let's bring her up. Here she is. So you can see she's got a light brown hair. Beautiful blue eyes, open smile. Again, I just chose her because of her smile. The rest of her is basic articulation. Just a nice doll. Alright, we're getting down to the end of it here. Oh, another one of the Fashionistas. Before they were Fashionistas doll. With the extra articulation in the wrist, elbow, knee, and just under her chest area here. Man, I wish they made Barbies with this sort of move. I know the made to moves um, are nice. Are nice. But I think they did better in looks with these styles. They just had very classy looking faces. She's also got her earrings in, which is a huge bonus for me. And all the extra articulation bits. So whenever I see dolls like this for one or two dollars, I absolutely grab them. I'm pretty sure I've got like two or three of this girl. <laughs> Astra just loves them as well. They're just so poseable. Yep. Okay, we've got a Simba doll. It is a basic Simba doll. I was umming and ahhing whether I'm going to keep her or not, as she is a basic Simba doll, but eh, I figured what the hey. Simba is, of course, Germany's answer to Barbie. Basic articulation on her. I always think the, the skin tone is very, very orange on these dolls, but it is one of her kind of signature things. Nice face, though. Got that one. Yeah. Okay, I'll get on to this doll. Now, this doll looks like she's worse for wear. And you all know me in all my videos, I say, look for chewed hands, look for chewed feet. Her feet aren't chewed, but her hands have been bitten. And they actually look like it's got a tooth mark there. Not a child tooth mark, but an animal tooth mark. However, I do think this is a Tressy doll. Now, Tressy dolls, some of them are a super duper expensive um, to buy, especially if you get a first edition, her eyes will be looking off to the side if she has a first edition. Um, some of them are very cheap, you can pick them up around around the $5 New Zealand mark each, um, if you find them. <laughs> the ones I'm talking about on eBay, then you got to pay $30 shipping. However, I'm really curious about this outfit because this outfit fits her perfectly. It's even been sewn with high heel feet in mind. To me, it doesn't feel like a handmade outfit. This feels like a purpose built outfit, and I do like the different sort of face on her. I'll bring her up. Here she is up close. Her hair is meant to be this way with the Tressy dolls. They have like this hair that can grow, I think. I think that this was the whole gimmick of the 1970s doll. They had hair that came out of their head. There is, um, and the easiest way to tell it's a Tressy doll, a key that goes in there of some sort. And it's something to do with the hair. You can make the hair longer or shorter depending on what you want. Um, the first editions had flirty eyes looking off to the side, later editions were forward, so I don't know exactly who she is, whether she's a friend or she is actual Tressie. The problem is of course her chewed hands, which are absolutely awful. <laughs> they look quite painful, don't they? Um, she needs a good clean, which is no problem. Uh, the main thing that I'm curious about is the outfit. Is this an actual Tressy doll outfit? If not, what doll does this go to? Because this outfit is not a homemade outfit. I think I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty sure by the way it's made that that is a machine 
that is someone some machine outfit it fits her perfectly and it looks really cool on her so I'm gonna fix her up but that's another doll if you're out there looking for one if it has Palatoy should have Palatoy on the back there you are made in England Palatoy look for the little key in the middle it's a Tressie doll it's my first Tressie doll actually so kind of one of those things you don't find unless you're really really lucky they're not super expensive to buy super um, second hand the first editions can set you back a nice penny but eh, if you find it you find it let's get with it uh, okay so we have a Mattel doll I'm not sure if this is a Ken doll or some other sort of doll if you know let me know um, I'm not a huge boy doll fan my <laughs> I've, I've, I know I say, I've said this many times in videos before, but I've said this in many times in videos before. I'm not a boy doll fan. I don't take much notice of the boy dolls. Um, I basically buy them as accessories to my girl dolls. <laughs> kind of like handbags. Um, I'm going to assume he's a Ken. I'm not entirely sure. I'll bring up and you can let me know if you know. So here he is, his neck is slightly separating from his head there, going down, this is all one piece outfit, it is well made, so again it's a company outfit rather than a homemade outfit. Mattel is printed down here on his buttocks, so he is a Mattel doll. I don't know who he is, if you know who this Ken is, well I'm calling him Ken, he could be a Bob for all I know, let me know in the comments below. He's very smiley darlings. Okay, we've got five, uh, four dolls and one head left. Oh, so this is a Topsy doll, 1987. Again, they're not super expensive to bring up. I've just gone, in this lot that I was going through, I was really looking for different types of dolls. I mean, we honestly have hundreds upon hundreds of Barbies um, that Astra's dressed and put up and she plays with, and there's ones which uh, are called Sal our special ones which are on display and then there's ones in boxes I don't like keeping dolls in boxes so it's very very rare I keep a doll in a box but there are some Barbies in boxes behind me um, up this way <laughs> it's it's not often that I do so I really wanted some different type of dolls some dolls that had a different era basically look to them I'll bring her up and have a look None of these dolls are super expensive to buy. This is a brunette again, nice deep brown brunette for two dollars. I absolutely loved her. Brought her in, it's obviously a handmade outfit. Her hands are floating around in the there. Do they have clicky legs? I don't really know. I don't really know much about this doll. I just saw how she looked. I thought, oh my goodness, she's so 60s. She's part. I'd say she's more 60s and 70s to me. Looks like she belongs on some sort of James Bond film. Put her in a skimpy dress and <laughs> she'll be right. <laughs> Just love the face on her. Last three. All right. I'll bring up the doll I brought for earrings and an outfit. Uh, this is a kid core doll, 1990s. Uh, kid core dolls tend to be pretty cheap to pick up. We have a few. Um, I've had a few kid cores come through the years on different lots. I generally tend to give them back to the system like Sally's or the hospice. I don't tend to keep kid core dolls. I think there's some little ones like flower girls or stuff like that I might have kept but I, yeah they're not really my sort of thing. I don't know if this is her heck hairstyle or she's had a haircut. I'm gonna assume she, yeah she's had a haircut. Someone's done an actually kind of nice job of a bob style though it is not even on each side. It does kind of look cool, but part of the reason I brought her was I wanted these fantastic earrings. Look at these earrings. I want these. Yeah, so for a dollar, I'm quite happy to pay a dollar for the earrings. The dress I'll keep as well. The doll itself, nah. It's basically a dollar for earrings and a dress. We're down to, okay, we've got a Cindy. We have a Cindy. Now, this is a very old style Cindy, isn't it? Reminds me of my Fleur dolls when I was um, younger. I wish I'd kept my Fleur dolls, by the way. No idea what happened to those. So this is an old style Cindy, I think. Uh, let me have a look. So from memory, this is an old Cindy look. Quite a large face. Um, she's got her earrings in, which is quite good. Got purple eyes. Kind of a big head. Uh, for some reason, I 
she's really ringing bells with me with my fur, old fleur dolls when they had really really big heads I don't her face isn't too complimentary is it it's it's like it's kind of like a meh meh face but still I wanted the dress and I wanted the doll oh okay we're down to it our last complete doll and it's a nice one to end on one of the original fashionistas before they were fashionistas really pretty looking doll I love 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 the face and the dress is gorgeous let's bring her up again you can see the makeup is dominant on this one she's got some red streaks pulled to the side this is a really nice doll this one uh, I don't think she's one of the head lop off my head ones just yeah just the extra articulation and her and her dress is gorgeous it's very very glittery doesn't look like it's been played with too much. There's no burrs on it. Missing her shoes. That's okay. So that was from my a dollar, two dollars, searching through a hunk of dolls. There were other dolls there. I just wasn't interested in them. They need a bit of work, but that's okay. So the last thing to see today is the Barbie with the gem in her eyes. <laughs> this doll I pay, uh, this doll was I think she was two dollars and I am denied for ages paying two dollars let's bring her up so she had been obviously her neck had been broken at some point and they just stuck her head on some other body that had <laughs> broken neck too it wasn't the right body to go with this doll um, and so I took it off which means that the of course if someone does that it means that the neck is elongated that's you know you put it in hot water to reset the plastic as best you can but this Barbie is the one with the gem in her eyes. The name's escaping me right now. Can you see the gems in her eyes? And she's got her earrings and her hair is complete. Like, fantastic. It's an easy, easy wash. It looks messy as hell, but it's actually not that bad. But, yeah, these earrings... I might actually have a, a naked doll of this one in storage. I'll go look at my supplies. And I can move those earrings to her... Or I can find her a body and, <laughs> and pop on her head. She's just too beautiful of a face to leave behind. And that's it. Woohoo! So we had some Facebook Marketplace haul. We had at the back the Spice Girls from a thrift uh, from the flea markets, and we had a some thrift store dollies that I went through and picked out the ones I wanted, um, mostly for work. <laughs> mostly for bits and bobs that I want to work in. If you love doll hauls, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to have toys here and dolls here, and we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.